Hi everyone, welcome to Reverie Hill. My name is Hillary. I'm so excited that you're here today because we have Valentine's Day right around the corner and I'm gonna show you how to make a very special Valentine's Day card. But first, I just wanted to give a shout out of hello to two very special viewers that are tuning in from Belfast in Northern Ireland. That would be Angus and my great aunt Isa. Uh, two of the most amazing and delightful people you could ever hope to meet, so I wish that all of my viewers could meet these two. Uh, Angus is a dear family friend, and my great aunt Isa, that would be my grandmother's sister, uh, she is just one of the sweetest women you could ever hope to meet, and so I just wanted to say hello to both of you. It, I'm so delighted that you're watching my videos, uh, so kiss noise, I love you both. Uh, as for the project that we are going to be doing today, um, we are going to be making never-ending cards. And what's so great about these never-ending cards is that they kind of, in a very tangible way, uh, kind of give a sense of the sentiment to the recipient that your love for them is never-ending as never ending as this card. So as cheesy as that sounds, I think you're going to enjoy this project. So let's get going. So the very first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take our template and we're gonna be cutting it out of construction paper. And what we're trying to do initially is create the template that we are going to follow to trace out all of our pieces of our card and I use construction paper because it's so sturdy that when I'm tracing along it with a pencil it's not going to budge or move so that's the first thing that I'm going to be doing and what you can see if you can see these little clippings what I've done is once I had my template cut out in the construction paper I folded it along the lines and I had just marked it with my pencil where the lines were gonna fall but because this is my template and I'm gonna be drawing everything out based on this I cut a straight line toward all of these fold lines and then I cut out kind of a diagonal line up to that straight line that I had cut because that allows me to get my mechanical pencil, the lead of my mechanical pencil, right up against this to mark uh, for all the other pieces of the card. So this is what we're gonna create first, and then we're gonna trace everything else we need for the card out using this. Mm -hmm. 